Hello again, 40 plusers. I also want to say hi to my subscribers on YouTube. Yay. Hi, people. So, I'm doing a series of three unboxing videos today. I'm not changing my outfit and making it look like it's different days. I'm not doing anything but unboxings. I'm working. Working lots. Okay. Allure. Allure. Sample Society. Sample Society. Um, this is a box of samples. And it comes with a guide on said samples. Blah, blah, blah. But it, it's all mine. You can't have it. I have the no. So. Zoya. Zoya nail polish. And YouTuber named Marnie was the first to introduce me to, or her videos, not her herself. Her videos um, were the first to introduce me to Zoya nail polish. Um, I've made some purchases from Zoya. Um, I really like the autumn shade. I uh, wore it a lot this fall. Um, and then this holiday season, I wore a lot of the Velvet Matte Posh and the Vel Velvet Matte Verushka. Um, a cranberry velvet matte and a dark green velvet matte. And those are super fun to wear. So when I saw this in the box, I was very excited. This sh is the shade... Leslie. So, nice to meet you, Leslie. All of their polishes are named after women. And this is a really pretty color. Um, lavender with a kind of a duochrome shimmer in there. Um, so, kind of teal shimmer. So, Leslie has some dazzle going on with a teal shimmer. I really like it. Plus, it's, I mean, can you get better color for spring? Even though I'm still in the middle of winter. I've got Julep Kiki on. Okay, so I'm in the middle of winter still, but this I can see happening. Absolutely. Zoya Leslie. All right, next thing in the box is... Intensive Illuminating Serum from Strivectin. Strivectin, I think, is a great brand, personally. And let's get out my trusty, dusty book. And does it not have it? Really? It doesn't have it in the... Okay, so we've got the Zoya... We've got the hair, we've got the skin, we've got the face, we've got the eyes. This is not in the book, so this must be an extra. So, Intensive Illuminating Serum. Mm. Don't use around the eyes. Caution. Face, neck, and chest. Before your moisturizer in the AM and PM. Until it completely absorbed. So this is a brightening serum. Illuminating, I would say brightening. And it says it's an intensive. Face, neck, and chest. Before your moisturizer. Interesting. I'm digging that. I like the brand. I will definitely put this into rotation at some point. Okay. Hair. We have Philip B. Lightweight Deep Conditioning Cream Rinse. So, I usually use the cream rinse that comes with my hair color and I get, I'm able to use that for four washes before it's, it's used up. Um, and then I have a color safe um, from L'Oreal and a color safe 
from Avalon Organics. Both are rosemary-ish scented. So I have a lot of conditioner right now. So this along will go into the hair care samples to be used up, but I probably won't get into this anytime soon. Uh, shea butter, wheat germ, and soy. Eh, okay. Phthalate 3. Free. Phthalate 3. Free. 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 Phthalate free. Okay. So. But yet it's in plastic packaging, which does supposedly transfer these phthalates, which are supposed kind of nasty sounding. I'm still doing research on them, but they're kind of scary. Uh, so, they may have been phthalate free, but now that it's in plastic packaging, probably not. All right, very exciting product in here from Philosophy. Refresh and refine moisturizer from Philosophy, hope in a jar. Philosophy is a great brand. I use Purity Face Wash every day, twice a day. Love the stuff. Super great. Pulls off 99% of my makeup. Even most waterproof makeup. So it does a great job. Um, this is anti-aging facial moisturizer, all skin types. It also hydrates with hyaluronic acid and it's got glycolic and citric and mandelic acids to exfoliate. So this does the whole skin turnover thing while moisturizing. Yay, I'm excited to try that. Um, I bought my housemate, um, I hope in a jar for Christmas. Um, so I'm very familiar with the brand and the line. Open a jar and I think they're great products. Um, Deep Sea Mud Bar. This is a baby soap bar. It smells clean. It's deep sea mud and charcoal and glycerin. So there's n nothing wrong with using this. Um, I use charcoal mask to kind of help purge my pores. So this, I'll be using this. This was a favorite of Jackie O, Greta Garbo, Madonna, and Uma Thurman. Anything that those four women use? I mean, come on, hello. I'll try. They've obviously signed on to have their names associated with this particular brand, so why wouldn't I use it, right? Who doesn't want to look like any of those four women? Truthfully. Okay, now, exciting for me, exciting for my eyes today, uh, the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Duo in Peach Prism And one is a cream eyeshadow, one is a glitter. And they're very cool product. I haven't tried anything like this before. So the cream, end, you can see the difference, glitter, cream. The cream end has this wide doe foot applicator. And it goes on creamy and cool. And you just cinch it down. It's a very pretty shade. Well, what happens when this dries? You can't move it. So you have to work pretty quickly. And I found that out the hard way. The first time I cracked it open, I used it. I put it on the center to the 
outer corner and it goes on pretty thickly and concentrated and I was figured it was too concentrated and so I was trying to blend it out and I ended up having to do my whole lid and part of my crease um, but I couldn't get it off I could just slightly move it so let's see if this is dried enough yet look it ain't going anywhere. And look at the sheen on that. It's just a beautiful peach metallic cream shadow. And it isn't going anywhere. 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 It's beautiful. I used it over an eyelid primer. Um, I don't know. It does kind of show the fine lines in the back of my hand. So I think priming is best. That is beautiful. That's the cream shadow end with the doe foot of the peach prism. Now I get to the glitter. Now I use this on the inner corner and right in the corner on the lower lash line as well. Here's the applicator. It's a synthetic brush. It's not super fine, but it does come to a tip. Okay, so I'm going to do it up here. And it's got holographic glitter in it. This took, so, took a while to dry for me. Um, so I had some glitter globs because it's kind of like in a gel base. I had some glitter globs kind of get stuck and I just had to flick them off. And you can see the see the glitter. And the sheen. That is so pretty. But wow, wow. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know if that worked. My eyes were closed. You'll figure it out. So. Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. This is Peach Prism. I'm so glad I got this. This is a perfect shade. I can wear this often. It's so much fun. So I've got that going on in my lips, on my eyes. Um, then I have some blending shades and a, a dark plummy shade is a, a underneath. But that's it. In my brows, um, typical peachy glow, and this is Butter London Strawberry Fields Tinted Lip Balm from December's Sample Society. So that's what I got going on. Thank you, Sample Society. I'm digging these. This is Deborah, and I'm out.